Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. We are playing Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, we are about to head to get across this thing here. Um, this is episode two of our episode, <coughs> excuse me, of our playthrough. We are stuck in some tunnels underneath the city. They got overran by demons. And we got a glowy sword. So now we're going to try the mobility to get across here. The mongrel did it. Ah, this talks about rolling dice. And got 9 XP. All right. I think this I do want to do... Path. Mountain Companion. I can't cast it like that. Mount Companion. No explanation. All right. Evidently. I can't cast it like that. Mount has to be at least one size. I can't cast it like bigger that. than the rider. All right. I guess I can't mount my buddy. I can't cast it like that. Combat log. You've crossed the wrong Get another mongrel. obstacle. Lots of giant spiders. All right, what does she got here? Point blank shot. Hit. A palpable hit. here land he's got that what's he got for things here perfect strike is a free action you must declare this feat before making your attack roll thus a failed attack roll ruins this attempt you can roll your attack roll twice and take the highest result you may attempt a perfect attack once per day for every four levels you have well we're not gonna waste a perfect attack against a spider Survive me. Got two shots, that's cool. Evidently can't charge. Into the fray. She doesn't have to get a charge. Move her over there. Spider missed. There we go. Oh, you missed. Can't charge. There we go. No match for me. Did it. All right, nothing else up there. Loot. Just some 
miscellaneous stuff. That's some good stuff there. So we climb up here. Climb up here. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. There we go. Small earth elementals. Save the last one for me. Endure this. Good shooting techs. What's that? Wind dog. Well, let's go to here. Make every strike count. Oh, miss terribly. of cure light wounds nice but there it is well he can't use it paladin can she can as well let's go ahead and put that right there Nothing else, right? Nothing else. Let's head back this way. And get down. We got all that. Continuing down the path. Another giant fly. I'll cut you wide they open. Break against our resolve. Uh, I need to start hitting this because I'm losing like stuff. I think. All right, we're gonna shoot. They'll beg me to stop. A centipede. that the spirits demand your blood that wasn't the greatest of hits there was it we charge nope we won't falter another centipede you've crossed the wrong mongrel
apart! You are today's sacrifice! Aw, oh, man. Strike with all your might! Good shot, Joseph. Attack action, da, 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 just talking about combat. Some loot. Some more money. Nothing hiding. Check that out. Nice hit, Blue. No glory without risk! Endure this! They endured pretty good there, Lamb. You missed. No match for me. There we go. Another spider dies. Hama, Masterwork Greatsword. Sword and shield. The light shield, is that all we had? I guess so. She's not wearing armor. Let's give bracers to Lamb or Lan. All right, let's keep exploring here. Let us be off. Wenduag glances at Lan, who is fixing his slipping bowstring, and quickly walks over to you. Her cat-like eyes glow from beneath her hood. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you and I are the only two people who are seeing things clearly. That's why I'm asking you, don't show the light of heaven to Saul. you want to save the kids lost in the maze? I do want to, but I'm not going to risk the future of the tribe for the sake of a few stupid kids. Chief Sol is hesitant and for good reason. He also understands how dangerous this is for the tribe. Lan's the only one who benefits from these childish games of heroism. I'll go alone if I have to to find them, 
or whatever's left of them, without any heroics, relying only on myself, risking only my life. When Duag slows, you and your friends, you can come with me. Perhaps we can make it to the end of the maze together and find the way out to the surface. Lan is sure that the light should be shown to the mongrels. Lan Windog grimaces and a guttural husky snarl unfurls in her throat. He wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? That sounds like suicide. The worst part is that the tribe might actually take his words to heart and follow where he leads. I thought you considered the mongrels to be great warriors. The descendants of great warriors. I believe that my people are worthy of greatness, that we are strong and can do many things. That's why we were chased down here. We scared people. But it's one thing to go hunting in the caves and another to fight in the shield maze. Windog leans closer, her lips di or her pupils dilating. Oh, lips dilating, that would be pretty weird. I've been there. I've spent my whole life training so I can make it all make it through all the way to the end. There were more of us trackers at the start. We were young and stupid. What's a couple of monsters when there's a whole world out there waiting for us? That's what we thought, but we weren't prepared. The maze isn't just a physical challenge. It's cunning and full of traps. It's dark as the primordial light. And if you close your eyes and listen, you hear whispers right behind you and soft singing in the distance that seems to rise and fall with the beating of your heart. Windwag looks away. I had to learn from my friend's mistakes. I had to step over their bodies and go further. I don't want to have to do that again. And it will happen again if a crowd of ill-prepared fighters bursts into the maze with no idea what they're doing. All because Lan believes that a glowing sword will solve all of our problems. I'll think about it. Let's go. Windwag nods. Don't show the chief the light, and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface. I swear it. Leaving a location. Okay, this tells you how to get out of an area. Uh, it looks like we've done all of the map. So, might as well take off. To Neethelholm. Neethholm. Neethholm. Use the inspect button to view detailed information about the enemies you are facing. More information can be gleaned with successful something or other with something else. It's a much bigger map. All right. Can we go in the water? No, we cannot. Mongrel. Let's pray to our ancestors. Bring back our children safe and home. Safe and sound, not safe and home. Home safe to us. I can talk some of the times and read half of the time. first impression of the mongrel village is of a squalid dump with the odors to match. Unblinking glow... Uh, la, la, la. Unblinking glowing eyes watch, for, watch you from the gloom. I can't read, evidently. And deformed shadows slope between the huts. You see some mongrels gutting white eyeless fish while others are repairing fishing nets. All the signs of a normal village life. But tense expectation hangs in the air. Chief Saul, 
A heavy-set, aged mongrel slowly shuffles his way towards you. The hair on his head grows in limp, wispy strands, and his face has a distinctively rat-like appearance with pronounced teeth, and you hear a rattling sound in your chest with every breath he takes. One of his eyes is white, fully scarred by cataracts, while the other gleams with moisture. Uplandish, uh, end times are upon us indeed. Gain 250 XP. Lan, Chief Sol, we found the angel's sword and we found the one who can wield it. Lan points at you. He had a vision and now the angel's sword together with the light of heaven are somehow inside him. Gather the tribe, anyone who can hold a weapon. The young ones are still alive. We can go save them. Sol raises his hand with ragged, broken fingernails. Ah, Lan, always dreaming, always talking. You too hasty, too hasty for your own good. It's going to get you in trouble. Sol's eyes you up and down. An uplander with the light, O oh heaven. That's too good for us. Our kind don't have good things happen. There's always a catch. Land trusts people because he likes to believe. Ishtent that right, land. I'm the chief. I don't work on faith. Show the light. Like op like dialogue options restricted by mythic pass. Throughout the game, you will occasionally encounter colored options marked as associated with a specific mystic path. These are dialogue branches that can embody the spirit of a particular manifestation of mystic powers. Oh, so requires angel path, light of heaven. Uh, let's see, is there someone else? Is there someone else from the surface here? Skull points off the side. There he ish, hale and hearty and prim as a peacock, just like me. So laughs, but quickly returns to business. Sh not good. Too many uplandish. Snot good. Snot right. He needs to blow his nose with all that snot. What are you doing here? You're not one of us. You're not. You're, we're not your kind. When the time comes, we'll come to you. Not you to us. I will help you find the lost mongrels in the maze. But you can quit hoping for a magic sword to appear. Windwog lets out a satisfied laugh. At last, someone's talking sense. You don't understand. It's holy light. It will scare off the monsters that dwell in the maze. Land drops his voice. Listen, I don't personally believe in this angelic light. But Sol does. Show him. It won't cost you anything. All right, so we could do the lawful thing, which is the angel mystic path, but we're not lawful, we're chaotic. And our whole, our backstory here is our whole tribe was wiped out by undead. And I don't think this character would want in this whole tribe to rush into this dangerous place and get wiped out themselves. So I think the chaotic one is the option here. So Lan is mistaken. We didn't find the sword. Lan whips around and looks at you stunned. He clenched his fists for a moment as if planning to shake the truth from you, but he quickly gets a handle on himself. I don't know why you're lying. No doubt you have your reasons, but I know it's a lie, and I know it, and Window knows it. Lan turns to Windog. Tell him, Windog, or Windu. Windwog stares blankly at him. 
I saw the light shining between rocks, and then it went out. Land saw what he wanted to see. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Telling the truth? Let's see. Saw some kind of light near me. That was in the sword. I don't want the blood of gullible mongrels on my hand. Land shakes his head in despair. So now instead, we'll both have the blood of young mongrels on your hands. Kids waiting for help. That'll never come. Everyone around me said that they didn't want to go anywhere or save anyone, but I didn't believe them. I always have to take things further than anyone else. Isn't that right, Chief? Fine. I see how things are. I don't need any more convincing. Lan offers a crooked smile. Peace, Lan. Miracles are not meant for us. We, the tribe, we wait. If you're one of us, you will wait. We're not going anywhere. Uplanders, rest now. There is a hut over there. You can rest there. Lamb is silent, his eyes shifting from you to Sol to Windwag. You made the right choice. It was the lesser of two evils. And now, rest so we can be on our best when we go into the maze. I promise to lead you to the surface, and I will. Combat victory points and everything gives you XP. We leveled up. Woohoo! Woot, woot, woot. All right. Let's go ahead and level up. All right. So we are going to go ahead and take our second level in the same class we're in. So plus two attack bonus. All right, we're going to do the athletics, mobility, perception, persuasion, two more points, knowledge, uh, let's... Let's go ahead and go religion. All right, special ability gain, spiritual shield. At level two, the cavalier can call upon the spirits of the fallen two for protection. The cavalier gains a deflection bonus equal to his charisma modifier to AC against attacks at by the target of his challenge. Well, that's plus one because we went with the 13 charisma. All right, we have a paladin. We're going to stay with the paladin. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. Let's just do the auto level up on these guys. I kind of, kind of, I, I kind of like just auto leveling these guys up for the most part. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So you got lay on hands, others, divine grace. Um, bonus is equal to her charisma bonus plus two. Lay on hands, self. Lay on hands. Ah, Shaman Spirit Hunter. Gets Hex. All right. Come on. All right. Hex grants Shaman plus two natural bonus to AC. 
effect leaves the shaman's skin thick and stiff to the touch. All right. Lan. A monk Zen archer. That's kind of cool. Zen archery bonus feat. Way of the bow. Precise shot, deflect arrows, dodge, rapid shot. I guess that's fine. All right, gains weapon feet, way of the longbow, way of the short, well, obviously way of the longbow. Windwag, our spider chick, is a fighter. Combat bonus and bravery. Deadly aim. And preference for deadly aim, mystic. mythic. All right, deadly aim it is. Blue. Plus one attack bonus. Uh, let's see. Blue needs perception because everybody needs perception and athletics. Armor class is 20. Base attack bonus plus one. Melee attack plus five. Range attack plus two. Don't have a range attack, but that's okay. Initiative plus one. How many hit points does blue have? 13 hit points. All right. Hut for resting. Horgus Gworm. Who the hell is Horgus Gworm? Let's move. Well, we don't want to loot their people, so. They're chaotic, we're not mean. Yep, I explored that there. We could loot these things, but I don't want to, like I said, don't really want to loot these guys. Follow this me. way. Well, how are we supposed to get down there? This way. Horgus Gworm. Finally, someone from the surface. I was beginning to lose hope. Horgus Gworm. An elderly man in an expensive but not ostentatious clothes approach you. His face is peppered with several healed cuts and bruises and twisted in an expression of extreme discontent. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Horgus Gworm. Yes, that Gworm. You no doubt have heard about me if you've spent any time at all in the city. I have a business proposition for you. Your name tells me nothing. Who are you? You truly are freshly arrived in the city then. 
You couldn't have picked a worse time, that's for certain. Only just arrived and the city's been raised to rubble. You should know that you are looking at one of the richest and most distinguished men in Kennebras. I may not be as well known as certain swaggering loudmouths who spend their lives traipsing from one ball to the next, but the Gorm Trading Company is one of the pillars of the city. I'll have you know. Well, that's all one sentence. This reading is hard. Did you see the marquees in the square? I paid for those. Tried any festival delicacies? You have Horgus Gorm to thank for that. How did you end up here? For a few moments, Horgus' eyes focus on Camellia before his gaze returns to you. Like everyone else, down I went when that accursed beetle carved the ground in twain beneath our feet. I'm lucky I didn't break my neck in the fall, and I'm doubly lucky that I didn't encounter any subterranean cockroaches on my blind wanderings and instead came across hunters from this settlement. Although I must say that when I first glimpsed their physiog physiognomies, that's a weird ass word, my eyes, or my life flashed before my very eyes, but they turned out to be decent chaps, frightening to look at, but able to keep, help, able to keep a bargain. You don't speak very kindly of the mongrels, even though they saved your life. Ah, kind words are for people with honor to flitter away on p pleasantries. Horgus Gorm speaks his mind, and he pays for services rendered, not with kind words, but with hard coin. I gave the mongrels my dagger in exchange for their help. Its handle is worth more than their whole village. What kind of business proposition? I don't know what is happening on the surface right now, but I'm determined to find out. You have no intention of seeing out the rest or yeah. You have no intention of seeing out the rest of your days in this village, I suspect. We must find a route back to the surface, to the city, if there's anything left of it. You seem to be a remarkably strong warrior. Just what we need to get through these caves and past the bloodthirsty beasts that inhabit them. You are strong. It will no doubt, it will be no trouble to you. But I, alas, am not as fit as I once was. I cannot go crawling through about through caves, playing at scouts. My proposition is simple. Lead me back to the city, and I shall pay you a thousand gold coins. I doubt that. I suggest we help this man. It is good to have friends among the Kennebrus elite. All right, so I could say money first. I could ask for 2,000 bucks. Say deal, I'm not interested. Uh, I don't suspect he's going to give me any money, so let's say deal. Splendid. In the meantime, I shall sit here in the village. We have to go. Go on, go on. Don't forget our agreement. When you find a way out, be sure to tell me. Power twists and warps all who possess it. Clear path for, for Gorm. Oh, he went that way. All right, we need to go to the hut for resting. Whoop. Back down this way. March on. Lots of stuff around here. Hey, Uplanders, come and see my wares. A vendor. Vendor, vendor, who? Anyways. You there. A tall woman with a face deformed by the enormous swelling smile broadly at... Sm ah. 
Let's start that one over again. You there! A tall woman with a face deformed by an enormous swelling smile broadly at you. Smiles, bands. I can't read. Showing off her double row of sh small sharp teeth. You, from the surface! You must be tough to make your way here. Never thought I'd see the day. Call me Dyra. Let's trade. Let's trade. Bracers of armor plus one. We have one of those. Ooh. You can probably get those for the monk. Oh, the monk has them. How about her? She's not wearing armor, but she probably can. Thick pads. Cure light wounds potions. Uh, da, 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 da. Lots of weapons. Quiver of cold ammunition. The owner of this quiver can use it to shoot 20 cold ammunitions. And mutated fish. All right, let's see. Um, sell, sell. No, I should probably hang on to that. There's my shield. Padded armor, copper ring. Okay, definitely hanging on to those. Brew potions or scribe scrolls. Let's hang on to that. Bone meal. We used to brew potions or scribe scrolls. Hang on to that. Bottle of oil. Uh, potions. Craftsman. Cooking ingredient. Cooking. All right. 159 bucks. Deal. Let's get the big shield back on there. There's a lot of loot. I just don't want to. Rest. Time pass. Kids can be tired. I get fatigued. See, they're all fatigued. That's this little blue guy right down here. Nine hours pass. Windwog, it's time. We're heading out now. Land won't get in our way. Windwog breathes in deeply through her nose, her eyes narrowing in concentration like she's trying to taste the air to detect even the faintest sense. Finally, she gives an approving nod. But Windwog is focused not only on what surrounds her, but also on you, sniffing the air. She looks at you with an unreadable expression. It's time to what? You're looking. They won't get her away. Where is he? We're just going to leave Hogus and Avenia here. Um, it's time to what? To get you out of here. I'm keeping my word, Windwog looks around. It's quiet now. The village has settled down. I know the shortest route to the maze. We'll take a boat. No one will see us. Are we still going to save the missing mongrels? 
Windrock frowns. What? Oh, them? They're probably dead already. But if we need anyone on the way, we won't just walk by. At the end of the day, they are of this tribe. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm curious, Windwog shrugs. Judging by land stories, I thought Uplanders were nothing like us. They were that they were fragile, spoiled by the cities and their constant satiety. But you're not like that. You didn't allow the Uplander life to make you soft. You kept your fangs sharp. That's good. Land won't get in our way. Where is he? On his way to his death, if he decided to go it alone. Or maybe he's in a hole somewhere, crying about how lonely he is. I don't care either way. I don't know if they really get along that well. Are we just going to leave Horgus and Anivia here? Getting you all to the surface at once will be difficult. We'll let the injured woman recover. Do you think I like knowing there are uplanders sitting in our village? But trying to drag an injured person through the maze would be suicide. And don't even get me started on the other one. He's not going to get off his backside unless we send a litter to carry him. Are you sure the maze is our only way to the surface? Windwog hisses in irritation. Do I look like someone who doesn't know what she's talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. There might be other ways, but not anywhere anywhere near here. I've never made it all the way through the maze, but every time I've smelled the change in the air. Anyone who can't has no business being in there. They're as good as dead. If you don't believe me, you can wait for another guy to show up. But no one apart from me will get you where you need to go. Let's go. It's time to get out of here. Windwog nods. Right. And another thing. You could have chosen not to listen to me, but you did. That means you have real strength in you. A strong person can take the truth, even if they don't like it. And the truth was on my side. I want to say, Windwog averts her eyes, thank you. You saved the tribe from a stupid mistake. They're alive now because of you. Now let's go to the boats. We'll get there faster by water. Powered by darkness. The last chapter to complete the quest or it will fail afterwards. All right. That's the out. Lake to the shield maze. If I lose my sword, I have lost a tool. If I betray my heart, I have died. Formations. All 
right, that's the extent of that. Let us be off. That must be the way to the maze. We need to crawl through this crack in the doorway, and then we're in. Trust me, I've done this plenty of times. Let's see what's over this way. Let's move! You'll make a fine trophy. Ferocious Monitor Lizard. They'll beg me to stop! The light take you! <laughs> Go for their hearts! Wow, this thing's tough. We can do it! There we go, great sword. Oh, failed. Well, nothing, okay. Doesn't look too bad. I don't like this formation. Let's go with that. Follow me. It is done. Past relief of Baphomet, Demon Lord, Lord of the Minotaurs, and Lord of the Labyrinth. March on. Suspiciously placed loot. Honestly, expected one of them to be a mimic. I'll bathe in your blood. Baphomet cultist. <laughs> oh, you missed. More Baphomet cultists. Get him, Blue. Nice job, Lou. I'll cut you wide open. Not in range to charge. The inheritor, guide my blade. Hmm. 
not in range to charge. No match for me. Oh, you missed again. Two shots, two misses. <laughs> No charging for blue. Ah, the spirits demand your blood. Into the fray. Nice hit. Take that. Not really worth taking. Yeah, that stuff's not worth looting. I am helpful, am I not? You are. Thank you. Agate. Take that. Ooh, Master of Glaive. Let's take a look at that Glaive. So, Greatsword does 2d6 slashing. Glaive does a d10 slashing. Glaive's got reach, critical hits are better, and generally just looks cooler. Um, the Greatsword does more damage, but it has a higher crit range. Uh, I, think we're, I think we'll keep the Greatsword. to believe it's already been about an hour that we've been playing so this is a good time to call it here uh thanks again for watching i appreciate it hit that like button subscribe button leave a comment down below let me know what you think um and as always i've been sir joseph you guys have been awesome till next time stay safe out there and i'll talk to you later